So our last section is looking at the selective precipitation of ions, which has everything to do with the KSP. So in this problem, they give you um, two kind of two sets of conditions. They say you have lead, lead two chloride, and um, silver chloride. So you have like a mixture of ions. You have um, silver ions and you have lead ions, and you're going to add some chloride to it and try to figure out which one of these salts is going to precipitate out first. And it really depends on you know which one needs the the smaller concentration of the chloride ions in order to reach equilibrium. And so if you look at um, silver chloride, let's write our two reactions that we're dealing with. We have silver chloride, which associates into silver ions and chloride ions. We have a KSP for this. That's just silver times chloride. And they give us the KSP um, right there, and they give us the silver ions, and we want to find the chloride ions. That's one thing we want to do. So do the same thing for, for lead. You have PbCl2, which is going to dissociate into lead and two chloride ions. This KSP, right, we have lead 2 plus and then Cl minus squared. They give us the KSP. We know the lead. We can solve for the chloride ions. And then we're just going to compare the chloride ions and whichever one requires the, um, the least amount of chloride ions to reach equilibrium will be the one that precipitates out first. So just really just have to plug this in. Um, so for silver chloride, right, that's our KSP. We have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 10 um, is the silver ion concentration. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 times the chloride ion concentration, that's what we're looking for. So just divide that by 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2. And we get the chloride ion concentration is just 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8 for silver. So as soon as I add that many um, chloride ions, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8 molar, as soon as the silver as soon as the chloride ion concentration reaches that much, then it will reach equilibrium. Um, the silver chloride will reach equilibrium and it'll start to precipitate out. We can do the same thing for lead, where they tell us the KSP for lead is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 5. And our lead concentration that we're starting off with is 2.0 times 10 to the negative 2 chloride ion concentration squared. So I'm just plugging that into the KSP expression, right? So this is my KSP, this is my lead concentration, right? KSP, lead concentration, chloride ions, divide by 2.0 times 10 to the negative 2. 2.0 times 10 to the negative 2. Um, that's going to give me my... I also have to take the square root of that, sorry. So square root of this, square root of that. And I get the chloride ion concentration is just 2.9 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. Um, and so when you compare those two numbers, obviously this one is a lot smaller. So we would say that the silver chloride precipitates out first. Because it reaches equilibrium um, with a smaller concentration of chloride ions. Okay, so if you want to see another one, another problem that looks kind of like this, um, same question, you have, but this time you have um, magnesium ions in your solution. Oops. So we have magnesium and copper. Okay, and they want to know which ion is going to precipitate first with um, hydroxide. So they give us the KSPs for magnesium hydroxide and for um, copper 2 hydroxide. All right, and we have the concentration. So it's set up pretty much the, the exact same way, just different reactions. So if we had magnesium hydroxide, uh, if you want to take a minute to try to write out these reactions, go for it. And 2 OH minus. You have your KSP expression, magnesium hydroxide squared. Um, and what do they give us here? We have our KSP, it's 1.8 times 10 to the negative 11, and our magnesium ion concentration is 0 0.050, and we have hydroxide squared, so we're just going to divide that by 0 0.050. 
and then take the square root and you end up with hydroxide equals one point nine times ten to the negative five molar. Um, so once you add that much hydroxide, the equilibrium will be reached for magnesium hydroxide. Now let's see what happens with the copper two. I really should put these in equilibrium. Copper two plus two OH minus KSP looks pretty similar. Copper two plus OH minus, don't forget that square. Uh, and then we have 4.8 times 10 to the negative 20. Um, and our copper ion concentration is 0 0.050 hydroxide squared divide by 050. And then take the square root of both sides and you get hydroxide equals 9.8 times 10 to the negative 10 molar um, so that's a lot smaller so we would say that the calcium hydroxide is going to precipitate out first because it requires a smaller concentration of the hydroxide ion so this will precipitate out first 